Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 27th of April. The local media headlines today. Radio Cornwall's top story today concerns the consequences of closing the Bodmin Treatment Centre. It closed at the end of last month when health bosses and the private company which ran it failed to agree the terms of a new contract. The station says it's found evidence that people in North Cornwall now face longer waiting times as their appointments are rescheduled elsewhere. The general election continues to generate plenty of news, particularly now that the bookmakers are starting to get in on the act. Cornwall Reports tells us that one firm thinks that only one constituency in Cornwall is likely to change hands and has St Ives down as odds-on favourite to be a Liberal Democrat gain from the Conservatives. But not such good news for the Lib Dems from the Green Party, whose activists are disappointed that tactical voting arrangements it had hoped to encourage now appear to be unravelling. Away from politics, Cornwall Reports points to a sky-gazing event at Jamaica Inn on Bodmin Moor on Saturday. It's to celebrate Cornwall's bid for international recognition as a haven for astronomers. The Falmouth Packet reports an incident at the Gwik Boatyard, which saw armed police brought in to help support a civil action involving a dispute between private companies. Police were called in response to concerns that there were firearms at the premises. There are no other details other than that no one was hurt. And Cornwall Life tells us that there's concern in Falmouth over the state of a house which has stood empty for several years. Local residents complain it's an eyesore and a threat to health. And those are the local media headlines today. Thanks again for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.